We currently stand at a pivotal point in the Star Wars franchise. Over a decade on from the Disney acquisition, many are questioning where Star Wars will go in the future, and they have their concerns. We've recently seen the culmination of the Skywalker saga through a trilogy that divided fans and caused a lot of toxic discourse. We've had a pandemic that saw cinemas closed for over a year, causing damage to the film industry. And more recently, the sag after strikes that pushed a lot of TV shows and films back by several years. And now, as we head into 2024, the future is still unknown, with a lot of people asking, is there any hope for Star Wars? However, this isn't the first time that Star Wars fans have been uncertain over the state of the galaxy far, far away. Following the prequel trilogy ending in 2005 to mixed reactions, Star Wars took a bit of a break from the mainstream, only releasing a small number of video games and novels before the last big George Lucas project was developed in the form of The Clone Wars. Similarly, in the late 1980s, long before the creation of the expanded universe, it had been several years since The Return of the Jedi had been released, new Star Wars content was few and far between, and this time period was known to many fans as the Dark Times. So three decades later, we have a slightly different dilemma. There is less of a concern about the quantity of Star Wars content. In fact, you could argue that we've been given too much over the last 10 years, and that we're now suffering from Star Wars fatigue. Instead, the potential issues arise from both the direction and the quality of content. Now, it's no secret that the content Disney has created has divided the fandom quite fiercely. For many fans, Star Wars now seems to be like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. But this isn't a problem exclusive to the Disney era, as the aforementioned prequels were the subject of much debate and criticism. And in many cases, it turned vitriolic against those directly involved, and it could even be argued that it hastened George Lucas's desire to leave the Star Wars franchise behind. Now, some in the fandom have genuine criticisms against Disney-era Star Wars, and their opinions are absolutely valid. There have been some issues with quality in recent shows and films. Unfortunately, a small number choose to attack Disney-related content for their own financial gain, or because they simply find joy in tearing down others to boost themselves up. Either way, it leaves us facing a future that is precarious. Disney is about to launch a new Ray film, and it could be the beginning of something exciting with the addition of the Mandoverse and the entirely new era in the High Republic to explore. But it is important that we don't ignore the issues of the past few years. Poor planning, inconsistent story quality, the over-reliance on emerging but not perfected technology like the volume, and the oversaturation of content leading to disinterest. It's very similar to what Marvel is currently experiencing right now. And it's a case of too much too quickly can lead to many problems. So it's very important that Lucasfilm slows down and is patient with their next generation of shows and films. There are so many talented and passionate people in charge of Star Wars right now. If they are given the time and the trust, they can deliver great things. One of those people, Dave Filoni, has recently been placed in charge of the creative side of Lucasfilm, and it's important that he focuses on long-term, consistent storytelling, finding exciting new stories that remain connected to the history of the saga. It doesn't necessarily need to be a rinse and repeat job. We need to try new things, and that's the only way that the franchise can evolve, but it does have to be done in a sensible way. So, the franchise finds itself sitting on shaky ground. For the first time, it has to rely on material that's not going to originate from the original Skywalker saga. It's territory that has to go beyond the scope of Jedi vs Sith, the light side vs the dark side, and the Rebels vs the Empire. If they can do this right, we could see Star Wars evolve to higher levels than we've ever seen before, with fascinating new concepts, but even just a small misstep could lead to setting back the franchise by years or maybe even decades. In the end, what it really comes down to is your own perspective. If you choose to focus on the positives, then it is an exciting time with unlimited potential. It's a new era of films focused around a revitalized Jedi Order, the continued expansion of the timeline between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, and the potential for new and diverse characters that will help connect the next generation of fans. Because at its heart, that's what Star Wars has always been about, that next generation of young fans. 
and it's important to connect with that generation. Star Wars is for everyone, but again, at its heart, it is a story for the younger generation, something to inspire them, give them hope, and to take them on a fantastical journey in a galaxy far, far away. I'd be willing to bet that the majority of all of us were introduced to Star Wars when we were children. So if Lucasfilm sticks to being consistent, being innovative, and being patient with its content, then we have all the reason to be optimistic. But it's only if you choose to be. You need to clear your mind of doubts and be excited for that next generation of young fans to be introduced to Star Wars for the very first time. And if you do find yourself sat there struggling to find that hope, filled with doubt, know that that's okay. Take solace in the fact that no matter what comes next, it can never erase what happened before. It cannot take away the connections that you had with the original characters and the original stories. That is entirely your own experience and no one can take that from you. Now of course, Star Wars isn't actually going to go anywhere. And if the next few years are as tumultuous as the last few years have been for the fandom, it won't kill Star Wars. Star Wars is beyond that now. We've seen in the past the wounds that have been opened by various divisions in the fandom always heal. It happened with the prequel trilogy. As time has moved on, people have let go of their anger and their hatred, and they've come to view those films with far more adoration than they did at the time. And the same thing will happen here with the Disney era. People will let go of their hatred, they will enjoy the content for what it is, and they will look to the future for new content. And of course, there will always be that minority toxic element that tries to gatekeep everyone else's experience and tries to tell us what is and isn't Star Wars. And the only thing that we can do is to leave them behind, to move forward and to encourage everyone else that wants to go on this journey to have fun to support each other and to make sure that everyone gets the most that they can out of Star Wars. Because at the end of the day, the community is what makes these films so special. The connection that we find through these films and stories is what makes us all Star Wars fans. And ultimately, that's what I want for the future of this franchise. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. In my next one, I plan to theorize on the plot of the upcoming Ray film. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that one. Until then, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.